Hello everyone, and I am back tonight with painting our fondant roses with uh, step number, well actually option number two. So tonight I actually was able to find some of the powdered um, petal dust is what they actually call it uh, to, for the flowers as opposed to what we used last night which was the gel. Um, the powder here has got the red that I wanted. It's called Petal Poppy Red. It's by uh, Sunflower Sugar Art and it just is a little bit easier way to paint the flowers and make them look a little bit more to me realistic. Um, when they dry they're going to have a little bit more of a matte color to them. So these flowers were the ones we did with the gel last night and these are the ones I kind of worked on a little bit this afternoon um, just to kind of see how I like the color to kind of give you a little bit more of an idea of the red rose. So when you use this type of petal dust you're just going to take a little bit and tip it in here into your glass container or whatever container you want to mix it with. Kind of like we talked about last night, you're going to need some kind of an extract or um, alcohol to mix it to make the powder obviously liquefy. I use the vodka like we talked about last night as well. Um, this does dissolve and it is tasteless so it, it's, it works great and it kind of gives it that perfect consistency to help it dry as well. So these flowers here all have one coat on them. Actually, these two have uh, two coats and this one in the middle has one. So once it's good and dry, we'll add other coats on there, but this will kind of give you an idea of how um, you paint this. It's pretty similar to the gel. You're just gonna wanna kind of go in there, but as you can see, as opposed to the gel last night, how much easier it is to paint on. I mean, look how thick it goes on. Um, on some of these uh, pe petal dust right here, you could probably get by with one coat even and just maybe doing a little bit of touch-ups in some areas once it's dry that you might have missed. Um, just like last night with the gel though, it's very important to get in all the little nooks and crannies like we talked about last night, making sure you're getting on the back of the petals. Um, it was funny on the gel ones yesterday, I thought I looked pretty well at them and then this morning I noticed a couple areas I had missed. So when you're doing these kind of flowers, it's really important to give yourself, like we talked about, a couple days. Um, that way, number one, they're as dry as possible, and if you missed an area, you give yourself time to paint it and still have time for the petals to dry. Also, when you want to do touch-up painting on them, you want to make sure to give yourself plenty of time because I like to have it thoroughly dry before I put additional coat on it. Um, just that way, it looks as even as possible, as smooth as possible, and um, you know, not rushing yourself in any way at all. So, with last night's video, you could kind of see a little bit of a difference in the consistency. Um, the gels, I feel like, tend to streak a little bit more, and I feel like with these powders here, they tend to go on. They're a little bit more forgiving, and I feel like they're a little bit more realistic looking when you're wanting to go for that. If you're kind of wanting something a little bit shinier, or you're wanting something maybe in a color that's not natural, like maybe green or a a blue or something like that. The gels will work really well, um, but they do take a lot more coats. They take a little bit more time, in my opinion, than just doing the straight up petal dust here. Um, this, most cake stores sell it. This red one was a hard one to find. Um, I actually had to special order it on Amazon and I was luckily able to get it, surprisingly, within a night. Um, now with this particular petal dust though, it does tend to want to kind of leave a couple little white spots here and there. That's one of the reasons why I said it's really important to kind of let it set. As you can see, it's kind of doing it right there because that way once it dries really well, we can go back and put on another coat and make sure that it's nice and perfect because you don't want it to, to have white shining through on a flower like this. I don't know if you want it super, super dark red, but you want to make sure that it looks real and consistent all the way through. Um, on this one too, you know, just like last night, on the back petals, you definitely want to paint them, but here on these very back ones, I, I wouldn't worry about painting this part yet, just so that your fingers don't get all blood red, because this petal dust will probably stain your fingers. It will eventually wash off, but it could take a little while to get it off, um, just kind of like food coloring can do to your fingers. So try to minimize that if possible. So, oops, that's okay. We'll just keep going. And on this one too, like I said, it's it goes on so smooth. If you fi find it's clumping a bit too much or it's having a hard time smoothing on there or spreading, just spray your flower with a little bit and that will help as well. Um, but luckily we've got a pretty good consistency here. The nice part too is after you're letting this dry, if you come back and you notice that your powder is all dried up in here and you're still got a decent amount left in there, just spray it or put a little bit of drops of your extract, whatever you use, and you can just mix it right back up and start using the powder again. When you do set it down to dry, just make sure that it stands up pretty well. That's why I have this little lid here just to hold it up so it's not knocking over. Kind of touch up any areas right there. And then like I said, let it sit 
and then come back and do a little bit more here. So this process overall is gonna take you probably about a couple hours to really dry really well. Um, and then I would say give it a good day and a half. That way you can do your coats, make sure it's really dry before it on your cake. And then when you uh, we join back again, we're gonna actually put the flowers on the bouquet and we're gonna get it going for the final steps in our cake. Thanks so much for joining me tonight.